All right, so our first PhD student tonight is Hannah Perche. Hannah comes from Northeast Kingdom, Vermont. She is a natural resource science major with a specialization in applied ecology, advised by Craig Allen and David Wedeen. And she received the Eigert uh, traineeship, which is the it's a National Science Foundation Integrative Graduate Education Research Traineeship, and also was awarded the uh, grant from the SARE program, which is the Sustainable Ag Research and Education Program. Her dissertation is, has to do with incorporating soil ecological knowledge into ma management goals on conservation reserve program land, funded by the Game and Parks Commission, National Science Foundation, and the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Her career goal is to work at a as a professor at a teaching-oriented liberal arts college, or as a research scientist for the Nature Conservancy, which I would recommend, <laughs> with, with an emphasis on outreach and education, or maybe something in between. Her title tonight is The Conservation Reserve Program Dilemma. You don't notice your heart until something goes wrong, and the doctor tells you to stop eating bacon and to start power walking. Maybe it's because you can't see it. Maybe it's because we don't think about things that aren't always there in front of us. In 1909, Hugh Bennett of the United States Department of Soil announced that the soil is the one indestructible, immutable asset that our nation possesses. It cannot be exhausted. It cannot be used up. Cue the Dust Bowl. My PhD research works to understand how human actions impact soil health. Simply put, when the physical, chemical, and biological attributes of the soil are tightly linked, the soil is healthy and soil health forms the foundation of all whole healthy ecosystems that are very resistant to dust bowls. In 19, or sorry, the Conservation Reserve Program was implemented in 1985 in part as a government response to preventing another dust bowl. It pays landowners to leave part or all of their land completely alone for 10 year time chunks. And this is actually the best thing we can do for the soil because left undisturbed, the soil rebuilds its own health. More recently, however, the Conservation Reserve Program was expanded to include the creation of upland game bird habitat, which is characterized by high bare ground and a high abundance of leafy, flowery plants. In order to create this kind of habitat, however, the ground must be disturbed. Herein lies a fundamental dilemma of the Conservation Reserve Program. In order to build soil health, we need to leave the ground alone. But in order to create bird habitat, we must disturb the soil. Fortunately, there exist four common types of managed disturbance. They include herbicide application, tillage, controlled burn, and drill cedar. Managers and landowners can choose which of the four they wish to apply to their land. By simultaneously measuring attributes of both soil health and upland game bird habitat, my PhD research seeks to understand how different trade-offs occur on all of the four different controlled man managed controlled types. My results will help landowners, agency personnel, and managers as they seek to understand the short and long-term environmental and economic trade-offs specific to their management decisions. This, in turn, will maximize the benefits from the limited availability of land and funds for conservation. This, in turn, will allow us to make smarter, lasting management decisions. And that is why I am doing this research. Because knowing that there is something wrong with a thing you cannot see is not enough. It's the doing something smart, holistic, and lasting about it that matters. Thank you.